the only thing that you're going to, going to need is a hundred ml of vinegar and just white vinegar but this one is a bit yellow because i put some lemon peels in the bottle so it took out the color of the lemons which i recommend you to do because it doesn't smell as vinegar anymore it smells nice as lemons because it took all those essential oils but you can just use plain white vinegar you're going to pop it in the microwave and then you're going to put it for one minute and a half and at the highest temperature and just let it do its thing you might see some steam coming out of the microwave but don't stop it and don't get scared that's fine that's absolutely all right So once the time is finished, you're just going to open it and you're going to take out your container that you put the vinegar in and make sure that you use a kitchen cloth or a kitchen towel or whatever you have handy. And don't use your hand like I tried to do. I'm telling you from experience, it's really hot. And then you're going to take a microfiber cloth. You can use um, kitchen towel again or you can use paper towels, but all of them will leave streaks uh, and we'll leave uh, stuff behind the the microfiber craft will not uh, it would just leave the surface really clean and it's going to absorb all the moisture that it will be in the microwave because of the vinegar um, so you're just going to take a clean microfiber cloth and just wipe down everything and now you're going to get all that dirt and you're going to see that everything is so easy to take you don't need to put any elbow grease in it because it will be so easy you're just going to wipe it basically So once you finish wiping the inside, you will do the same thing to the bits that you took off. So like the, cir the circle and the plate that will sp that spins. I don't know how they're called, so I'm just I'm just naming them. I'm just giving them my own names. So the little plate and the little circle. You're going to do the same thing and wipe them off with your microfiber cloth and just put them back on. And then we don't want to forget the outside so with a multi-surface spray you are going to spray all the outside and by the way mine is sitting on top of the stove because I took it out of the casings so I can film and show you guys how I clean it I don't normally keep it on top of the stove so just but I just needed to mention that um, so you're going to lit, leave the multi-surface spray to sit uh, for a minute at least to, uh, to do its thing and then again with a microfiber cloth uh, I recommend you to use another one on the outside because the one that we used on the inside should be quite dirty by this time uh, we're just going to wipe everything down and also you can use a toothbrush, an old toothbrush um, to go into all those nooks and crevices uh, that you have or you might have you will definitely have a different model than I do so you might not need to but I did that because I just felt I need to go into those nooks and crevices so what I did I just used an old toothbrush and then with the microfiber cloth I just wiped everything
and then that is it all you're left all you need to do is to put it back in its place if you have taken it out like i have and just use it again and make some dirt again with it <laughs> because that's what they're made for we need to clean them so we can make them dirty again i hope that you enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs